and our orcs. However, the orcs have a bit of a disadvantage because they have a giant mountain in their face, but that's okay. <laughs> Alright, I will close the bedding. There we go. And here we go. So you can see everybody's shooting at everybody. I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> this is, uh, well, it's pretty hard to see everybody because it's pretty spaced out. But it looks like the mech walkers are getting destroyed because they're getting shot at both sides. Okay. Well, that was disappointing. <laughs> Okay, looks like we bo both of us lost there. Uh, that's okay. So we have the red coats. They're uh, trying to I think these are the these are the German soldiers. Yep. So these guys are gonna fight. Uh, what do you have over here? Oh, the ogres have been eliminated. Yeah, I know they had ten thousand boil points each. I guess they're also getting stormed by these two sides at once, so. But still, I'm, I'm very surprised that they didn't last that long. Here are US soldiers fighting it out with the penguins. Okay. Wow, the penguins have 50 kills. That's funny. That's wild. Go penguins. Oh, the, the archers are uh, getting destroyed at both sides. And we have our tornado troopers, I think. Yep. These archers are confused. They don't know who to shoot at. And their arrows don't appear to be working on either side, so... Hey, <laughs> don't worry about it. I also have a no losing team, so... Don't worry about that. Penguins are the new chicken. It would seem so, yeah. They're doing better than anybody would have guessed. Well, at least I would have guessed. I don't know about what you guys were thinking. But yeah, they went out pretty quick. Uh, the penguins are almost out, actually, so... They got more kills than I thought they were going to, which is pretty cool. Let's see. Who else we should take? Oh, this. We have... Um, the Germans versus the Redcoats, who are also getting flanked by the uh, U.S. soldiers. So I don't think uh, the Redcoats are going to last too much longer. And then... Those guys are being smart, they're taking cover by the mountain. And we have this guy over here. Come on, buddy, you could do it. <laughs> We're all voting, hoping for you. <laughs> all on your own. <laughs> it's probably going to get hit in the face with a laser <laughs> and eliminated in a minute. So yeah, we have. Oh, a couple more guys. Okay, yeah. The archers do appear to be winning. Yeah, I'm surprised, but uh, that's alright. I forgot that the, <laughs> the tornado troopers use the Wilhelm scream. <laughs> that made my day. Yeah, it's been a been a while since I've played this game, so. <laughs> yeah, anyway. The archers are uh Charging over here. Just some more archers, I guess, who got lost. Red coats are still hanging in there. But I guess all the uh, US soldiers have been eliminated, so I guess they're only fighting on one front now. Which does make things easier. But does not look like they'll be around too much longer. So the Germans are holding up pretty well, and the archers are all, well, they've eliminated all the tornado troopers, so 
All right. That's true, actually. I'm not too sure about damage, but I guess that would help if having the arc versus the uh, straight line. You can check the damage in a minute. But uh, I guess this is <laughs> gun versus the arrow. We'll see which one reigns supreme. Yeah, I'm not too sure either. I think it does the arc for the projectiles. I think I think I think I've seen arrows uh, follow an arc. But uh, yeah, you can kind of see them. Yeah, they do seem to be arcing. Oh, and if you stick around for the grand finale, we'll be popping into uh, UBBS2 for a few moments just to just create a ridiculous battle. Yeah, it looks like the, the Germans, their strategy so far was to kind of hide behind this hill and take cover. But yeah, you'd be able to get at them past the hill. So their uh, defense strategy is ineffective. I don't think the AI is uh, advanced enough to figure out something like that in this game, but that's right. It does look like the uh, archers are losing, sadly. Oh, there's these uh, two guys trying to flank the archers. Nope, never mind, one guy. Yeah, all right, looks like it's over. One archer left. All right, looks like team two wins. Congratulations to Ardvark. That is a lot of points you just gained, so I think that puts you in the lead, which you're in the lead already. All right. Uh, Oh, and uh, just so you know, the person with the most points at the end again of the game gets to pick how I introduce my next video, or my next stream, so it should be fun. Just nothing that would get my channel instantly deleted. Alright, let's see here. Let's do... And if you have a map that you'd like me to see, let me know. Uh, pretty much willing to do anything, so let me know what you want. I will do it. So, yeah, let's do this one here. I <laughs> have an idea. Let's do... Uh... Let's do the three festive uh... teams against each other. Over here in this uh, this map. There we go. And we're gonna put like a lot of each more, quite a bit more of each. Oh wow! Yeah. So 
Yeah, you're uh, pretty far ahead, I would think, Aardvark. <laughs> Let's see here. So, Santa, Scarecrow, and uh, the Hollow Man. Let's see here. So, 345. <laughs> Scarecrow. 560. 570, okay. So Santa is a little bit weaker than everybody else, but uh, we'll just put more of them in. <laughs> the Scarecrow is a little bit weaker than the Hollow Man, so we'll say 300 and uh, 500, I guess, it makes it about fair. Not with those numbers necessarily, but uh, actually, oh, oh, oops, 1,000 and 2,000, zero. Okay, let's move to a not so rocky area so all of them can spawn. Uh, flat map task is pretty boring. I already did that one. Let's do. Oh, I haven't started betting yet. Actually, I probably could let betting, <laughs> betting on, so let's see. Bet three teams. There you go. Uh, you can try that command again. War Torn. There you go, nice. Okay, that's good. Glad that's working. All right. Um, yeah, that should be fine. Actually, we'll give Santa a little bit of a help. Go, we will give him one chicken. <laughs> there we go. Santa gets. We'll put the chicken in the middle. Actually, we don't want to be. Let's just put the chicken on its own team. There we go. I guess you can't really bet on the chicken, but there's one of them, so. Hopefully, that's okay. Kind of position everybody a little better. There we go. So less loading. Uh, you can always feel free to join our Discord. Uh, myself and a couple other streamers use this to let you guys know about different streams we're doing upcoming and when we go live. So feel free to join if you want. If you don't, no big deal. It's up to you. Uh, there's quite a few of us on that, on that Discord server, so quite a few streamers. So we all kind of use it to communicate, which is pretty cool. But yeah. 300 on team one, 300 on team one. I think it's not currently allowed. What? Did I not? Hang on a minute. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Forgot to start betting. There we go. Okay, now it's open. So now if you go ahead and retry, uh, that should work. <laughs> I forgot to turn it on. Uh, Thought I did, but that's fine. So Ardvark betting on team one. <laughs> Jeff voting on team three. We have our scarecrows hanging out over here. We have our skeleton horse thingies over here hanging out. I guess that's supposed to be the headless horseman. And we have Santa. <laughs> All competing for... Da -da -da. I don't know where it is, but uh, there's the one chicken in the middle. Oh uh, yeah, well... Uh, <laughs> 39 points. Nice. Uh, it's not really other players, just... Uh, not really betting against other players, but just kind of betting... Um, and which one do you think is going to win? And then of the pool, like, uh, we can do this. So you can see all the points that have been put in. Um, so if I put in, say, 150 points, 
to Team 3, then if Team 3 wins, then I get half of everything. So you just get a percentage of what you put in of, of everything if your team wins. So uh, if Melonhead were to win, then they're the only person who's bet on Team 2, so they would get everything. They would get all 639 points that are currently in the pot. Yeah, the person with the highest number of points at the end uh, will be the winner. Yeah, we have... Uh... Alright, so I'm going to get this started. Just a sec. Alright, we'll close betting. And we will start. Go! Oh, this is cool. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, like, uh, in the betting like, for each, for each round, yeah, the person... Yeah, the army that beats the other armies would be the winner in this game, but, uh... I guess we're playing, like, a two-dimensional UEBS. So, uh, of the viewers, whoever has the most points at the end wins. Like, of all the points you've accumulated from betting... So yeah, this is, uh, there's this game, and then there's also the, uh, you know, <laughs> second dimension to this game, which is what you guys are playing, so it's kind of, uh, interactive, which I think is pretty cool. They're here with Santas, which are kind of confused which army they want to fight at the moment. We have the horses versus scarecrows, which seems to be going pretty well. Oh, the chicken's long gone, but that's okay. And then over here, looks like that looks like the Santas tried to flank the uh, horsemen, but didn't go so well. Now the horsemen are flanking the Santas. And they're fighting a second front over here. And they're moving in on them. <laughs> These poor guys are getting stuck in the house. That's okay. <laughs> They're just lining up to uh, get whacked to the face with Santa's Santa's candy cane. Oops. And then over here. Looks like the uh, Holomans have been defeated over here. Oh, not quite. There we go. Looks like the uh, Holomans have almost been defeated. Yeah. And the Scarecrows are off to uh, go meet Santa. <laughs> Who look like they are almost finished off with the Holomans. But, uh... 
are about to enter the final push. Oh, he's been on Santa, yep. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. It's, uh, it's for fun, so it's not real money, so <laughs> who cares? That's alright. This is this just as long as you're having fun. That's all that matters. Yeah, the interesting part about this game is it's not just about the stats, but it's also about like placement and terrain and stuff like that. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, Team 3 definitely has the most kills. So that, that, that definitely counts for something. <laughs> and it's raining. Great. Yeah, it looks like the Santas are just about to flank the Scarecrows. Sympathy points? Uh, we'll give you a few. How's that sound? Yeah, it looks like it's it for the Scarecrows. Alright, congratulations to Team 1. Hardwork 70. <laughs> the 639 points all to yourself. Congratulations. <laughs> you almost have 3,000 points. That's crazy. Alright, so I think we'll have time for one more battle before we get into the grand finale. Which is going to be ridiculous. Like, it's going to put these kinds of battles to shame. Oh no, Melonhead, you only have one point. Okay, why don't I give everybody an extra thousand points? Um, I guess I don't know how to down how to do this. I forget what command I created for this. Gift. There we go. So everybody should have uh, received 1,000 more points, so you can continue playing, Melonhead. Alright. Let's see here. Let's do Jungle Island, I guess. Unless anybody... If you see one that you'd prefer, then let me know. But, uh... Um, hey, welcome, Caffeine Cactus. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're just getting ready for our last battle before the grand finale, so we didn't, uh... Yeah, bet with the masses. Just, uh, just bet with whatever, uh, Aardvark picks. Yeah, that's that's probably a safe bet. I don't know, I think Jungle Island will be good. Um
what does festive mean under the unit category? Uh, it just means the festive uh, 